Hello guys, in this video I'll be talking about realistic timelines after you submit the application for Express Entry of Canada. I'll tell you about a tool through which you can check the realistic timelines of federal or different PNP streams. Also you can check the timelines for each and every step of your application. What happens after you submit the application? How much time does it take? I'll also tell you the reasons why some applications were rejected real-time reasons of real people. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Hello guys, this is Shetan Shu from Dream Abroad. If you want to immigrate to Canada or Australia without paying hefty fee to the consultants, please visit my channel. I've got many videos on Canadian PR process. Also, I'll be uploading video series on Australian PR process very soon. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe. Okay, I remember my days after I submitted the application, I was very impatient and I used to check my mailbox regularly. And I'm sure it's the case with most of the people. And why not? It's the point where your dreams are about to come true. So I'll tell you what happens after that. After you submit the application, you, you pay the fee, you get the receipt just after uh, like 15 or 20 days or maybe you know one month after that they, you'll get a mail like this that your application has been updated there won't be any specifications mentioned in, in this email so you have to go to your RLCC account and check the details over there now this is a screenshot from my account and obviously I have the PR now so everything says over here is completed but if you go back you know just after uh, completing your but just after checking this email you'll just see a change in the medical results over here before that your medical results you know it would be, be saying something like you know your medical results are still to be confirmed or something like that but now it will say that you've passed the medical exam so the first thing after we get you know after we submit the application is that our medical exam examination is checked and if we have passed it then they update it and they'll you know uh, after that everywhere it would say that uh, that a final decision is yet to be taken your application is under review so now I'll tell you how we can check the realistic timelines let's see and type Amy tracker and go on to this website myimagetracker.com I'll provide the link in the description box below as well this is a beautiful website where you'll see the analytics the latest analytics of real-time people who are actually going in and putting in their details their timelines so over here you can check the details for Australian immigration for Canadian immigration and for some of the US uh, visa tracking facilities as well apart from that uh, they've got many insights if you want you can explore this website I'll quickly take you to the, to the dashboard and click on analysis for Canada so so this is the overall anal analysis that they've done and this is the average that they've written over here that it takes around 66 days and obviously this analysis is based on the real-time cases that people feed in so for different cases for different streams actually it takes different times for FSW which is federal skilled worker outland it takes around 69 days and inland it takes ab about 79 days if just in case you're confused with outland and inland it's just that somebody submitting their application from outside of Canada that means outland and in inside of Canada it means inland so for different PNP streams you know it takes around 200 days and 175 days for outland and inland this is just a statistical analysis of the you know this is just an average right so over here you'll find some other statistics like how much time it took after the medicals was passed and so on if you go down further over here you'll find you know different uh, average weight for different visa offices different countries around the world because it's not just for India or any other country it's just it's for every country uh, over the world 
So over here for the trends, trends by province, how much time does it take, trends by months of different PNP programs, how much time uh, it took in every month and going down further, you know, it's, it's a beauty, this, this website is a beauty and you can check it over here, some other details like different PNP programs, how much time does, it, does do they take actually. For British Columbia, it took, uh, they generally take like 171 days. This is an average time and it may differ drastically, but this will just give you an idea of how much time does it take. So now let me take you straight away to their dashboard, sorry, to their tracker. So this is the tracker and let me go to Canada over here and click on consolidated eAPR tracker, this one, this link. And so this is the tracker over here. If you go to the abbreviation section, you can get to know what all these abbreviations actually mean. So let me select the nationality over here. Let me just select India. I'm being very biased, I know, but because I'm an Indian, so by default, my hands and words reach over there. So this is an India country selected. Now stream, I just select now again there'll be you know the same streams like CEC and uh, Federal Skilled Worker Inland, Outland, PNP Inland and Outland. So I'll select uh, Outland for example. This is just an example over here. I'm just trying to tell you how to use this. So these are all different cases. You know all of these are different people who have logged their cases. How much time it actually takes for them. And so let's see, all, obviously uh, these all people have just logged their, uh, ex their, their uh, documents and just got a receipt. So I'm sure that they would take some time. Let's find some greens. So find, finally we have found some greens over here. So somebody who have actually, who actually submitted his profile around, uh, not the profile, sorry, who actually got the APR, which is, you know, let me show you what APR means. So um, AOR is acknowledgement of receipt. So somebody who got his acknowledgement of receipt around July, in the mid of July, actually got it passed by in the uh, around 8th or 9th of August. So it took something around 18, 19 days for most of the people to uh, clear their medicals. So this gives you an idea. Uh, let's just scroll down even further. So we find some dark greens over here. Dark greens means that people who have actually got the PR. So it seems that people who actually submit the application from US, they're given the priority and you know they, their, uh, their PR is given pretty early than others. So you can see over here that how much time did it took for them to get the PR. So only 37 days, just above a month. So this is the average if you apply, if you're an in Indian and probably you're, you're just applying it from uh, US. So let's see other trends. What do they have to say? So uh, somebody who actually, you know, let's, let's see some dark greens. So many dark greens over here. So somebody who actually submitted their profile in the last of May, got it, uh, got the PR within 74 days. So something above two months. So uh, this is the average what people have actually got. Let's see, let's find some red ones over here. Uh, red ones will be the ones which have got rejected. I'm not very sure if there are any red ones or not. Let's see if they if we can any if we can uh, find if we can find some uh, refusals. Yes, I'm sure we'll be able to find over here. Mm -mm -mm, how to find it? Yes, so many dead ones. So let's see how can, uh, why do actually, why did actually these get rejected? Sorry, oh, let me just sort it out again. So let's see now how, why these uh, got rejected. Let's see the this one who's got maximum comments. So, why it got rejected somebody asked application was cancelled not refused so the reason uh, was an incomplete document regarding PCC so he cancelled his application from his own so let's 
check out some other cases as well. Oops, take some time. Let's go again. Back to tracker. Let's see some other one. So why his application got rejected? He was from Pakistan and everybody is asking him yes it was related to job verification issue with one of his jobs so this is a very crucial point you should not give any wrong information about your jobs if they find anything dicey about your jobs you know they might actually uh, give refusal to your application let's see some other ones um, let's see this one okay he also withdrew his application so let's see other ones I'm sorry guys if, if this is getting boring but just you know I just want to give you an idea of uh, what the issue is and how to check it so let's check this one okay so it's an important one let's see uh, he's given more details over here so none of the documents had roles and responsibilities we did not use any affidavit also a very big point over here you see somebody actually got rejected because of that because he or she actually didn't gave the roles and responsibilities so they could not match it with their uh, with their uh, skill set with their NOC code and it got rejected so guys this was uh, this uh, this was an about immigration tracker I'm really sorry this video has got too long but I just wanted to explain you how you can check the immigration tracker and how you can take it uh, for your own advantage so thank you so much for watching this video